you know, people are sending uh, pictures of their parents or grandparents or their children just born for blessings and, uh, you know, for various things. So if we can do positive things with the image of a person, you must know we can also do negative things. In India, if you go to a black magic artist, he will just ask for a picture. Because picture is a certain geometry. If you understand the geometry of a person's picture, you can create a geometry which will freak him. Now you can create a geometry which will enhance him, or you can create a geometry which is going to destroy him in some way. So, because of this, those cultures, wherever this is there, people don't want pictures to be taken. People who are in certain types of sadhana, even in India, menu sadhus and sannyasis, they don't want that picture to be taken. But these days they can… cannot avoid, but unknowingly they take selfies. So, people are asking me, Sadhguru, are you okay for a selfie? I said, no selfie <laughs> because these silly trends will come and go. Life goes on beyond that. These trends are… the thing is, nobody is willing to take a picture of you. So you want to shoot yourself and put it all over the place, <laughs> which I think is… Uh, it doesn't agree with my aesthetics <laughs> that I take my own picture and put it all over the place. People took pictures and they want to put it because they value it for something, all right? Because an image has a geometry of its own. We could have actually demonstrated if we had an image here or you try at home yourself. Just for example, I'm saying take a picture of me, a proper photo would be better, not a reprinted photo. It would be good, but even a, a book cover, just hold your Rudraksh, see how it goes. Download an image of some serial killer, I'm sure you are in touch with them on the internet <laughs> And check the Rudraksh, you see how it happens. It'll happen very differently.